uh, banged up. You know, I just went in there with a pit bull and had him try to uh, ravage me. On my own personal level, I, didn't, I did things that I didn't want to do, or I should say, I didn't perform always in the way that I had wanted. However, uh, that wasn't just because I went out there and slipped on a banana peel, it's because uh, Andre was, was giving me static about it. So uh, next time, I'll, I'll try to write him a little memo ahead of time to allow everything I do to look super cool. But, um, but it was a good scrap. Uh, there were some lulls in action, I know, and I'm sorry for that. Some of that was me just like towards the end of the uh, first, I stuck him in the cage and was just pretty much like TPing into him. It wasn't because I was gassed and I, I, wanted, I was trying to take a break. It's because I was trying to drive my shoulder through his guts to make it so that he wouldn't get as good a uh, 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 amount of air. So when he went back to his corner, he was still going to be trying to recover from that, whereas I was able to take much more of a rest. And uh, for whatever reason, my arms felt very heavy in there at times. So uh, uh, just, just how it happens. I, I wanted to get more punches off. Uh, I wanted to win the clinch more. I, I should never have given him that takedown, but I just didn't really see it coming. It's a little too lazy there. Uh, the second time, as you can see, I was ready. And there's a big injury there to just run it. Something has happened. The weird thing is, is you're like, zinc. Oh, ref, oh, my eye. Oh, that's not the ref. That's a punch. Jesus Christ. Okay. I, at first, it's almost like, is the ref throwing on me right now? Is he mad? Is the ref throwing punches? Oh no, that's the other guy. Okay, um, let's reconvene on this matter. We'll, we'll, we'll table it. We'll get back to it a little later. Then we'll, we'll deal with the eye poke. Right now, maybe try keeping your face in one piece. Barnett, figure falls his arms. This is a very strong grip. So I wanted to work that double wrist lock. He was real strong. Managed to get a big fistful of his tights. Uh, so good grip on Andre. Uh, I missed an opportunity for the straight arm lock transition out of that. That's my own fault for uh, just relinquishing the pressure just a little bit on the wrist. Uh, but then I started going for the side choke and I'm going mount again. As he turned this time, he turned too far. I think I might have clipped him behind the ear. I'm not sure, but for whatever reason, he laid there enough for me to get under that neck and really get that short choke, even though we're, you know, I wasn't fully on his back. Well, I had already uh, splayed him out flat on his stomach, but still he was and on his side. Now, I would not say that it's ideal, but I was able to get it. Oh, a nice uppercut from Josh Barnett. Uh, it was a good fight, not a great fight for me. Uh, even worse fight for Andre, unfortunately, if you're on his side. Uh, but we went out there and we, we did some heavyweight stuff, and uh, I'll have to replay the footage so that I can take a look and see where I can make improvements. Um, I know I want to let my hands go a whole lot more, and. Uh, you know, uh, it's just opportunity, experience. There's just a lot of oppor a lot of data to grow from. So, uh, and I hope you guys out there in TV land uh, happen to enjoy it. Um, and I'm the favorite. Uh, so I guess that worked out okay, huh? And I got a nice little lump I got to get rid of, but uh, it's okay. No one cares on the Reaper bond. That's just like an extra like 10 euros, I think. <laughs>